Hello everyone. This is my review of the first week of this new running of the, the book on contract management. Uh, when I look at this uh, again, I'm reminded that uh, there's a serious amount of uh, effort involved in keeping up to date with this. Uh, so well done for those of you who are managing it. Of course, you've got time to spread this out and uh, do it in your um, at your own convenience. So hope that we're keeping you interested and motivated. Another couple of weeks to go with lots of more interesting things to do. But again, as before, we're seriously impressed by the interesting spread and mix of people who are participating. Uh, mixes in terms of experience and of course location. And uh, really nice discussions starting where people are asking each other uh, to help with uh, more information and uh, sharing of opinions and experiences. So all of that is really good and I hope you're enjoying that interaction. It's, it's a key process for this kind of course. I've just been reflecting on the, the discussion that uh, Sally and Tim and Kingsley had yesterday. Um, and it's really impressive uh, how things are developing and, and how uh, these experts are beginning to show us what the future possibilities and in fact uh, current realities are. Uh, a key, some of the key messages I took out of that discussion is that there's um, this coming together of what have been separate and sometimes disparate uh, professional disciplines and the realisation that in order to handle this uh, evolving uh, digital world, then these professional groups really need to strengthen their interactions. They need to share their capabilities, uh, but they also need to test themselves, their systems and each other for security and uh, other aspects. And in fact, these messages from the discussion are the key to this whole course. Uh, we'll be talking about this need to take a much more um, holistic, all-embracing, life cycle view uh, of contracts and the fact that contracts are increasingly, as Tim indicated, um, business assets and uh, the, the nature of how businesses capture their interactions and of course part of their management control systems. So the opportunity for those involved in contract management is really very substantial, I believe. <clears throat> One of the issues that constantly emerges is the, the nature of this future world. Many of you will be in, in organisations where you're still struggling to be recognised as truly professional uh, in the contract management space. Uh, some of you may not actually be in that space, but trying to understand it better. Um, but as part of the general process of more dependence on computerization and software solutions and artificial intelligence, another key message is the, the early ones from a, the processes that were talked about, about standardizing and then streamlining. Um, these are key messages everywhere. And in fact, uh, another key message for this course and drawn out of the discussion yesterday is this word process. This is not about individuals, individual departments, individual functions, not even individual businesses or firms or organisations, but it's how all of these things work together into a managed, a designed and managed process. Uh, and in that process, we all have our part to play and we can help each other do that. So, I think this discussion has brought week one to a very nice conclusion and has raised a number of issues which we'll be developing later on uh, to develop some of these um, considerations more fully into the, the next two weeks of the course. So thanks for your participation so far. And as I like to say at this point, if you've enjoyed it so far, tell your friends there's still time for them to join us. Uh, the more is actually the better. 
uh, as we move into this transitory period where contract management is really beginning to be recognised as core to future capability and success. So I look forward to more interactions, different kinds of activities next week, of course. So hope you enjoy those and uh, keep talking to each other and, uh, and to us. We learn a lot from these interactions. Uh, we don't comment on all of them um, because sometimes your, your peers in the other uh, parts of the course uh, are better placed to answer some of these questions. But uh, we'll contribute where we can, where we think we can add some value. So thanks again. Look forward to week two.